Hi guys, welcome back to my probably last video of this DLC. We're almost out of potions again. I don't know what's happening. We're stepping through mirrors left and right and fighting Canari front and center. Uh, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess and I'm probably not gonna survive it. <laughs> I think I'm almost there. It's also getting late. Um, I don't know where I'm at. I'm emotional anymore. It's like, oh my god. I've been playing for like three hours. <laughs> Still haven't come back to kill for save that dragon though. Oh well. Ah, careful guys! It actually tore him to pieces. That's some tough stuff. There's a lot more of them coming. Through the mirror, like eight. Fuck you guys. I don't like you. You need to stop. Seriously, you need to stop. You. You specifically need to stop. Go away. Um. Oh, that's Vivian. <laughs> She's on our side. This guy, however, is not. too excited. I'm actually holding my breath while fighting, which is not a good idea. Mm -mm. <sighs> Breathe steady. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's charge that bitch. Whew. Is that... No, it's bad luck. Uh, I hope that might be a supply kit. <gasps> there is one! Hurrah! Maybe there will be more. Maybe we'll actually survive this. Okay. There seems to be some kind of cord yarn in there. Oh damn. Such a beautiful map. I kind of want to spend loads of time in here, but I feel like I can't. Because the more time I spend in here, the more I good. Also, there's no treasure chest, so there's not really anything to explore here, is there? Where did he just come from? Sarabas, I guess. Sara. Vivian's oh, doing fine. She's great, she's shiny. Help me. Help Cole. Ah, Cole helped himself. Never mind. There goes nothing. Shit, that stuff is powerful. No, oh, you're doing fine. No, you're doing not so fine anymore. Whatever it is. 
as you're doing, you need to fucking stop. Okay, you guys got that. Be ready. They have reinforcements. <laughs> Sarabas. Why is he so big? How did he get that big? Not even bullets that big. Sandra, you have an anti-barrier spell, don't you? Yes, you do. Do you have... Yes, you do, too. Why am I always doing all the work? I could... Probably, I guess... Heal coal? Oh, why am I getting damage? Where's he going? Is vulnerable. Look at that shit. He's barely got a quarter of his energy drain. How is this supposed to be like the end bomb? How much worse can the Dasala be? It's like my attacks do nothing. Nada. Yet. I'm gonna run for it. Where is Cole? I wanna help Cole. No, 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 no. You gotta hit Cole with it.
Ready to go. You will not leave here, Inquisitor. Antam, he brought a gadi. I don't have any potions left. Hello. Everyone is injured. I'm gonna blow you people up. I'm sorry. It's gonna be ugly. <sighs> Let's get to the stupid dread wolf. And he just went completely nuts. <sighs> oh, that is a very dram oops, a dramatic looking Illuvian that, that has proper frames and stuff. of them? Please have been the last of them. Not the last of them. Because that's a different game. <laughs> I'm so clever. Oh, Cole. Why did I even bring you? Why did I even bring myself? Revive the little spirit and then go take these guys out with anchor discharge. There was Godlock. I did not see that. Wh where's everyone going? 
didn't we want to reach Solus like ASAP? Okay, let's kill that guy. Why not? While we're at it, might as well. There you go. Happy. Good. I don't know what these other two Illuvians do, but... <sighs> I swear this is physically exhausting. Is that Vidasala? Let us finish this! That is Vidasala. You are dead, Inquisitor! Your soul is dust! That may be, but I'm gonna take you with me. Where is she? Holy shit, my dude. Oh, there he is again. Find Sarah, fight Sarah. It's not easy, and I don't know how much time I have. Here. 
no one's fighting him, he's just dancing with himself. Take a fucking potion! <gasps> Seriously? A pride demon? Really? Summon a pride demon on my ass now? What is your problem? Ooh, I look forward to you. You can't hurt him, but the fate can. Use your mark! Solus. Get to Solus. Can't even see what's behind there. It's just, it's a mystery. It is a mystery. <sighs> guys? G -g guys? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Now he's not gonna hurt me. He's not gonna attack me anymore. None of them are. Oh, that would have been a hell of a battle. Sheesh. But where's Vidasala? Ebesit kata. Shh. It was ost. Marat kata. Oh, there she is. Hello. Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Kamari to trouble me no further. Interesting. That is some very nice armor. <gasps> Shit! Solus. Oh my god. <laughs> no more apostate hobo, huh? Well. That should give us more time. Oh. I suspect you have questions. <laughs> <laughs> Screw your book for Fenerel. I came to find you. The Kinari were trying to kill you. I wanted to get here first. I know. They sought an agent of Fenerel. I am no one's agent but my own. Shh. I fear that the truth is much simpler. And much worse than the Canari believe. <laughs> You're Fen Harel. Damn straight. I was Solus first. Fen Harel came later. Oh man. An insult I took as a badge of pride. <laughs> the dread wolf inspired hope in my friends and fear in my enemies. Oh. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. Oh. And now you know. <sighs> what is the old Baelish curse? May the dread wolf take you? No, he did. What we had isn't over. <sighs> oh god, my people are wrong. Yes, ironically. Sads or yeah, no sads. Yes, ironically. And so he did. <gasps> oh I did god. Not. I would not lay with you under false pretenses. But you lied to me. I loved you. <laughs> Did you really think I wouldn't have understood? Hear Abelas, Fanan. <sighs> Tell Abelas. If you care, give me the truth. I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fenharel. And when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. <laughs> Thus I freed the elven people. And in so doing, destroyed their world. 
Oh god. So many questions. He suspected I had questions and make it do I have questions. Oh god. Where do you where do I even start? Can I ask all of them or do I have to choose? The Evanurus were that. elven mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. <laughs> it started with a war. Always. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. <sighs> Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders, then kings, and finally gods. The Evanurus. He sounds completely different. Oh god. How did the gods go too far? You said that the elven gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed Mithor. <laughs> A crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. Oh. I thought Mithal was one of the Evanurus. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. <sighs> oh God. Perfect order, I don't know. Why did you form the veil? You love the fade. Why would you create the veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the veil, the Avenurus would have destroyed the entire world. So they... Um, the Veil destroyed the world? Uh, how did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Via Dathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade. All destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. It was me. The veil took everything from the elves. Even themselves. You banished the false gods. You didn't kill them. You met Mithol, did you not? Yeah, we did. The first of my people do not die so easily. Yeah. The Evanuris are banished forever. Paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. What happens next? The ultimate question. God, the music is so That's dramatic. The past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My God, he speaks like what I did music. to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. That, I will save the elven people. That is one. Even if it means this world must very die. Very big alluvium. Uh, but what about. But what about. Like, does that include elves? I mean. Uh, huh? On the one hand, I agree, but what happens to the people that live in the world right now? Like, what? Um, why is that necessary? Why does this world have to die for the elves to return? A good question, mm. but not one I will answer. Why? You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. <laughs> I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this. But the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. <laughs> you should be more concerned about the Inquisition. Your Inquisition. Nah. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. What? With luck, they will return their focus to Devinta. That should give you a few years of relative peace. What about the Illuvians? God, there's so many you questions. Control the Illuvians now. Yes. 
You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. Oh. I had to override the magic personally. <laughs> the Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Alluvians are now mine. How do you just stumble over a network of magical mirrors? How? Um, is it really my Inquisition? <laughs> the Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fen'Harel. I gave no orders. Mm -hmm. okay. You led us to Skyhold. That is Corifia true. should have died in locking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. <laughs> when you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Mm. Hence, Skyhold. Um... Oh god, so many questions. Ah! I don't even know where to start. Of course I do appreciate it. But I feel like that would take me away from all these options. So, what was meant to happen? What would have happened if Corypheus had died and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the elves. But then the evil gods return. If you destroyed the veil, wouldn't the false gods be freed? I had plans. Right. Somehow this has a lot of holes, Solas. I do not agree with that logic. <laughs> Truly. That sounds bad. Truly. <laughs> I never thought of you as someone who would do that, Solus. Oh, pain. Thank oh. you. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you. Not at first. <laughs> you showed me that I was wrong. Oh. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. You gave him your orb. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. Hmm. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. <laughs> that and then didn't I work. would claim the orb. Well. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. That is awkward. So, I still appreciate it. Whatever your reasons, we couldn't have defeated Corypheus without you. Your doubts are misplaced. Everything you accomplished, you earned. Oh, right, there was this question. Why should I be concerned? What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization. That I did. And now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. Uh, it's not that simple. <laughs> you know how I discovered the Canari plot. The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep. The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari bot, who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel. Hmm. Mine. Why did you help? Why bother disrupting the Kunari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have She's shown pissed. me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. Oh. I take oh. no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kune. Why? Okay. Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. Thanks, I guess. I guess we owe you for that one, too. I hope it gives your people some final peace. And the big one. What about the mark? There's still the matter of the anchor. Mm. It's getting worse. Mm -hmm. I know, Venan. And we are running out of time. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, no, no. The mark will eventually kill you. The one you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. I won't give up on you. 
Just leave her there. What? What? <sighs> oh, dramatic music. This is gonna be a long video again, isn't it? I have no idea how fine we are. <laughs> but now we might as well finish it. Whatever. <laughs> but what? Three something must be done. But we cannot oh. lose the Inquisition now. No, we, we stand can't. on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, we do. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. Uh. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed oh. by Canari spies Here she comes inside and she's your pissed. organization. Without our organization, you would not be allowed oh, to complain. Here she comes, and she is pissed. No one has forgotten what you have done, but Corypheus is two years dead. Well, if the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate oh, organization, gone not is a glorified the glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. Um. Inquisition was okay. So, the Inquisition will serve divine Victoria. Efforts against Solus will be stronger, but risk corruption. Hmm. The Inquisition will serve divine Victoria. Efforts against Solus will be stronger, but risk corruption. Inquisition will serve divine Victoria. Ah. Oh God. We'll solve this ourselves. Mm. Oh God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, from Arthur's perspective, with what she knows now. She would probably dissolve the Inquisition. <sighs> oh God, I do not know. We'll solve this ourselves, or we will keep the peace. I think it's it's either those. Yeah, it's one of those two. Mm. We'll solve this ourselves. You all know what this is? A writ. From Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, <sighs> find those be. responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's Let's approval. See where this goes. Cassandra approves, apparently. It wasn't a formally authorized treaty that saved Ferelden's people. It wasn't careful diplomacy that ended your inane civil war. It was never about the organization. <laughs> it was about people doing what was necessary. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have a world to save. Again. Hell yeah! Effective Mike immediately, dropped. The Inquisition is disbanded. Did she just drop the mic or what? Holy shit. Look at them all.
is sad. Aww. Aww. Look at them all. Could Mary please stop looking at Cassandra all smitten? <laughs> Bye guys. It's been a hell of a ride. In short order, the Inquisition was disbanded. Some were relieved to see the unpredictable organization. Oh god, this is fast. Others preferred to remember the Inquisition's good works and the many lives it had saved. Those who had served returned to their former lives, knowing they had stopped the great evil from destroying the world, and hoping that the peace for which they had fought remained once the Inquisition was gone. With the Dragon's Breath disrupted and any hope of a swift victory dashed, the Canari retreat, retreat. Ah! Few new <laughs> debates were waged in Pavolin, but not long after the Exalted Council, the Canari launched blah blah the aggression card, the already unstable Imperium of God. The winter was soon mired in a war. Oh Jesus. The Exalted Council remained intact, advising Divine Victoria and important leaders. Cassandra served for several years. While the subject agreed with Liliana's policies, the former right and left hands of the Divine shared a mutual respect. Oh gosh! End of Inquisition so has been sent to show waves through the College of Enchanters. Our father was united to build the new circle, to Vienna as its Grand Enchanter. Great. What the circle likely numbers, they made up from political connections. Great! Two institutions settled into an uneasy coexistence. Oh. Exalted Council, Liliana, devoted herself fully to the Sunburst Throne, the dreams of reshaping the Chantry. Restrictions surrounding priesthood, allowing men of all races, blah blah blah. Which group was followed swiftly by a decision to return the Canticle of Shalta into canonical chant. Rebellion to renounce her and return the chantry to its former state. Hi, rebellion. And no rebellion. I'm guessing it was bloody. Most agree that the rebellion collapsed. Infighting. Mm. She engineered the failure, alright. Well, they fractured into a number of separate cells. Okay. Varric took up the role of Viscount. He rebuilt Kirkwall. Yay. And as rule, the city state finally resumed its place. Great. Continue to ignore all mail from the Burgish Guild and the Prince of Starkhaven. <laughs> Inquisition disbanded. Charges returned to taking jobs thrown on Leon Ferelden. Good stuff. Fighting demons, blah blah blah. Iron Bull did his part to restore order. Good. Cullen retired from active service. Oh, bye, Cullen. Go back with your dog. He turned to Ferelden, sanctuary for Templars, and then Divine Victoria granted to him. With his help, many Templars shed their lyrium addiction. Very nice. And he promised that should his friends from the old Inst Inquisition ever need him, his blade would be ready. Dorian returned to Tevinter to take his father's place in the Magisterium. Rumors flew about the Imperium's infighting. Dorian was spoken as a Magus Magister. He formed a group called the Lucerni to restore and redeem Tevinter. Good. Constant communication with the Inquisitor. Aww. Vital information and moral support. Very nice. Blackwell seeks redemption, free from subjugation to the position, tribal invaders giving hope to the condemned and the forgotten. Hmm. By showing faith in those who had none, Rainy lifted them up and made them into something better than they were. Good stuff. Josephine made her farewells and returned to Antiva and her family. Oh, look at her with her hair down. She was soon approached by an agent of the House of Repose. Far from being offended, I was a proposal inquiring as to whether Josephine might have need for the services. Okay! No need for assistance. Okay! <laughs> of 
call return to the fade. There was more pain coming. You knew where the hurt was greatest, so he would help. Aww. After the events of Lady Palace, Elf left the Inquisition in mysterious circumstances. None could say whether they went where they went, but those who believed them. Blah, blah. So elves leave to help the Dreadwolf. Lavenin sometimes came awake from dreams in which her lover watched her sadly from across an endless distance. Oh, oh. You bet he's watching her. She searched and dreamed and waited for a way to change the red wolf's heart. Oh. Oh. What's happening? Can she please get a super cool prosthetic arm with magic and shit? My agents have found nothing. <laughs> With the illusions, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. <laughs> we have what we truly need. We will need to be careful. Solas knows everything about us. Mm -hmm. Who we are, how we work, our strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Then we find people he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. We will save our friend from himself. Hell yeah. If we can. Duh, don't snap the map. Are we going to the different Imperium? Okay. Okay. I'm guessing Dragon Age 4. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm gonna let those credits roll. But this was it for my Let's Play of the Trespasser DLC. And thereby, I'm guessing, with Inquisition. All in all, I think that was actually a much more satisfying ending than the original naked game ending. Which is a problem that we've had a lot with Bioware games. See, Mass Effect. But, whew. That was worth buying it as a DLC. Now that this is done, I will resume my Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity and I hope you will tune in for these Let's Plays to come. I have some, some more games lined up, including Life is Strange, and um, yeah, I hope you will join me in those. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play videos that I make. And until then, have a great time. Oh my god, he wrote all this shit is weird. What are you even thinking? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy I left this credits running. The sky churned like a rolling sea on a dark and stormy <laughs> night. Centered on a gaping hole that led to the arse end of nowhere. <laughs> a hole that spit up many things that day. Comets, demons, and a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> it's about the Inquisition. 
Oh my god, this is great! <laughs> the tavern cut the silence like it owed the carter money in the middle in her element red jenny she <laughs> looked me up and down mostly down not playing weirdy <laughs> she said gesturing with and dismissively eating a sandwich <laughs> don't write that seriously piss off a row sarah made the subtext text which suited me fine <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I kept rolling. This is too good. The court enchanter swirled into the room like a drop of beautiful poison spreading in a wine glass. That she did. She sized me up with a glance. I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> here, she said. I am Madame de Fair, <laughs> the most terrifying person you shall ever meet. <laughs> Oh my god, the Vivian is great! <laughs> ah. Liliane enfolded Alphonse in an embrace as warm as a serpent's kiss. I always knew it would come from your support! <laughs> the Count did not feel the bite of her poisoned dart until it was too late. Even if it requires your death. I knew I would be crying in this DLC. I didn't realize it would be from laughter. <laughs> Drops of rain glistened on the griffin medallion grasped tightly in Blackwall's hand. And the silver rings of valor, they mean nothing. He flung the medal to the cold and uncaring ground. You don't know what I've done. You don't. No. I'm losing my shit over here! <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> Cole moved like a shadow oh gosh. Oh gosh. that also moved like a knife. A shadow wearing a hat where Dean came to die. It's a riddle, he whispered. A cold riddle that will get your mind, but you'll feel better when it's gone. That <laughs> makes as much sense as anything Cole says. True. Oh god. Oh god. Don't <sighs> place your herald above the law, Ambassador. Whose law, my lady? Josephine's eyes glittered like angry opals. Ooh. The law destroyed by rebellion, <laughs> by civil war, by poor fiscal management. Her we Josephine is great. Her Josephine is great. Oh god. We left our mark on Adamant, but the dust hadn't settled, and neither had Harding. I can offer you a drink, if I catch your meaning. If you caught my meaning, you'd have offered a double. <laughs> what is even happening here? <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Bull was a great slab of muscle with horns that could hang a tapestry. One eye scanned for threats, while the other hid behind an eye patch like a chantry sister's old sins. <laughs> Come on, he barked, <laughs> not looking back as he entered. The dancer with the great rack comes on in five. That is spot on, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm crying with laughter over here. Yeah. The commander had the look of a Templar oh. who had seen the Cannon. worst of humanity, Which yet is true. still had the time to style his hair. This isn't just a war, he said, <laughs> his gaze steely like a dull blade. It's the only war. <laughs> Colin! That's Colin! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so good. 
Oh my god, what did he write about Cassandra? And how does she react to what he wrote about her? The mage wore a class of handsome sneer cultivated by a thousand years of Tevinta elite. Ah, uh, Dorian. The name's Dorian. He glared. <laughs> D-O-R-I-A-N. Spell it right, you marble-headed lump, or it's toad time. <laughs> A toad? That's hardly credible. No. <sighs> oh god, oh god, oh god. This is hilarious. The bold elf spun, Ooh, made soulless. stuff crackling like the city after a good man's murder. <laughs> You're crazy, the Red Templar cried in terror. <laughs> Moonlight glinted off ears like the knives you never see coming. Ooh. Better to fade out than burn away. Ugh, <sighs> Varric. Uh, <laughs> A fade pun. Solus gets a fade pun. <laughs> Wait, where am I? Oh no! I don't... Oh, here it is. Oh no! The seeker clutched at my vest. Her <gasps> tears as desperate as they Wait, were what? pitiful. <gasps> Varric, I was wrong about everything. <laughs> she sobbed. Could you find it in your noble heart to forgive me? That. Wolf. He, <laughs> She's he, gonna kill him. He put me in the book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the book. I am reading the shit out of this. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> this alone, this bit alone, the credits alone were worth buying this DLC. Oh my god, this was perfect. Ah, oh, Cassandra, I love her so much. <sighs> Well, no, this time I'm really calling it an end. See you guys next time, guys. Uh, I'm trying to compose myself. <laughs> uh.